Although most motor-to-pump alignment training programs devote a section to identifying and correcting for soft foot, very few highlight an even more complex and troublesome problem, angular soft foot. In this training video, we are going to illustrate what occurs when angular soft foot goes uncorrected and how Precision Brand's soft shoe shim can quickly eliminate the problem. As you can see, we have mounted a laser pointer to a short steel shaft. As I turn it on, the red dot shows up against the white background. I will insert the shaft into the brackets of our gizmo, which has been designed to show what kinds of stresses are created in a motor that has angular soft foot. Typically, the first thing that needs to be done is to number each of the four feet. Foot one, two, three, and four. Ideally, each foot should be flat to the base and when loosened will rise straight up to show a parallel gap. In this case, however, we have purposely machined foot number one to be on an angle. First, I will tighten the good foot, foot number two, and then the one with the angularity problem, foot number one. This will make the toe pull down as it is tightened. Next, I'll mark a reference point at where the laser is aiming. Now what I want to show is the type of stresses that are created within the motor housing. And in order to do that, I'm going to have to loosen foot number two. Watch the laser jump to the left as the good foot is pulled toward foot number one. What's most important to note is that when I re-tighten the foot, the laser does not come back to its original position. What this is telling you is that the front of this motor has physically walked to one side and foot number two is now sitting at a different position. Besides creating excessive stress to the shaft and bearings, you have also lost any kind of repeatability you will need to properly perform an alignment. What you will need to identify is if the gap is flat or if it is irregular, and to do this you will need feeler gauges. As you can see, this 5000 gauge will fit under the outside corners but won't fit under the inside one. and this 9 thousandths will only fit at the far outside corner. What this is telling us is that the foot is bent and will be pulled down into position against the base by tightening the hold down bolt. What you are not going to visually see is the internal twisting this will cause within the motor housing. This is the likely cause of ever having chased your tail during an alignment. Now here is a simple solution to correct for what is normally a very difficult problem. These are soft